Hi guys. So based on a couple of questions and a couple of concerns over on the forum, uh, we decided to show you guys the quality of our source as opposed to having people just say anything about our source, we decided to let our weapons, our products speak for themselves. So as you probably know, or should know at least, the in order to verify the quality of a sword, see how durable it is, the structural integrity of a sword, you need to do a flex test. This puts a tremendous amount of stress on the blade, and if there's anything that's not properly made, it will snap. Uh, so basically flex tests are done over the head, Generally, you'll see people do it over over their uh, thigh. Um, I like doing an abusive flex test, uh, basically pushing it beyond the limit, beyond what is recommended. So, just to really show you guys, I like trying to break the product, basically, in order because that tells me what's the level of structural integrity of the sword. So, this is a 1332, one of our Gothic swords. So, I'm going to do a flex test again, an abusive flex test, not just a simple flex test, so you guys get a kind of an objective view of what our quality of our swords and how structurally structural integrity of our swords. So this is an abusive test. Okay, so you go beyond 90 degrees. And I haven't seen anyone do this with other products. And I'm just leaving it there. Pretty much yeah. And it should return to true. Okay? So this is when you know that sword is good quality and I'll take another one to do the same thing because we all know there's a lot of critics out there who say yeah, it was all staged. So here's another one. This is our 1340 military template sword. It's going to do the same destructive test. Again, beyond 90 degrees. And you just don't flex it and let it go. You really push it to the limit by leaving it there. So if there's anything that's weak, it'll just snap right off. Again, return to true. So this is how you know if your sword is properly heat treated and tempered, which as far as I'm concerned, is the most important thing in a functional sword. If your sword is not heat treated, it's not tempered, forget it. It's only a piece of decoration. It won't last in combat, you won't be able to use it. So that's how you test to see if a product is good or not. Once the test is done, we're going to do a destruction test again to show you guys the structural integrity of our swords. So I'm going to be wearing my helmet because this is probably my two this. You want to push it to the limit again, always trying to break the sword to see if you can break it and how much force you can make.
edge damage, other than major scratches, and I still haven't been able to break it. So, this is basically the quality of our goods. So, despite what's being said on all sorts, I hope you guys can judge for yourself and let the product speak for themselves, as opposed to just to get the fake facts. We do take our customer service very seriously. We do reply to people. We saw some comments about our phone flying because we don't take our clients seriously. The fact of the matter is we don't try to expose the facts about our company because ultimately we'll be seen as being argumentative and there's no point. So really, what I think we did today was to show you the reality what our stores are capable of doing, and I do this to our all our fans and for our potential new customers and potential new clients so that they can get an accurate, uh, I guess, description or an objective view of the quality of our product. So if you have any questions, of course, you can always email us or uh, write your questions or concerns or comments uh, on the fridge. All right, thank you guys. Take care.